Hello, my name is Marius. I am the founder of Please Fix. In today's video, we're going to take a look at this beautiful Rolex presentation I did a while ago and dive deep into how it actually works and how you can do it on your own with these amazing animations in there. All right, let's jump right in. So first up, we have a blank slide. And the first thing you want to do is add the Rolex logo. You can just Google the Rolex logo and then just put it in and you will have it here in the middle. If you don't know how to make it in the middle, you can say align, align to center and align to middle, and then it will be in the center of the slide. Now, the first animation is where we will have the green stripe going over the Rolex logo, and then the Rolex logo is gone. So what we do for this is quite simple, actually. So we want to do is insert a rectangle, a green rectangle actually. So I'm just gonna put this over here, right? And then remove the outline first, so no outline. And then I have the shape fill to be the same as the green on the Rolex logo. So we're gonna choose the picker here and then we will have the same green. Now on the first slide, we want to have it a little bit bigger like this. And then next to it, we want to have a second rectangle. So just hold control and shift and drag over a second rectangle and it needs to perfectly align here on the side. Then we will make this shape white. Okay. Now we will duplicate our slide drag this over to go here and make it tall. And this one goes over here to the end of the slide and then make it wider. So now the slide is completely white again, but both of the boxes moved over the Rolex logo. And if you are really special now, <laughs> you can drag this down and make this a little bit smaller so that we have another movement effect in there. Now go to transitions and click morph. And as you can see, you will have this nice animation with the Rolex logo going away, fading into the background, and then having a full white slide again. Okay, next thing is we want to duplicate this slide again, and we will now put in the different um, pictures of the founder. So I also prepared this already. So here are the three pictures. And for this, we now want to have a green overlay over these two to make it look better. So for this, I'm gonna choose shape again. And then I'm gonna just drag a shape again over this and choose the green again then say no outline, that's great. And put it over here as well. Now grab these two, click format object, save fill, and then click and put it to maybe 70% is fine. No, that's too much and do 50%. Okay, that looks just right. Now the last thing we want to do on this page is just put in the text, so the names of the founders and I already prepared this here. So now we also want this to come in very nicely. But if we have everything in just one transition, it might look a little bit weird. So we will work with a little trick here. So first up, we're gonna grab this guy. Now we're actually gonna grab all three of them. So here, grab this one as well, and then click copy and put them on here. So now we're gonna deselect this and drag these two down. And then we're gonna select this one and also deselect the Rolex in the background and put it up here and have the transition morph applied as well. So now you can see it looks very smooth what we were doing here. Sometimes PowerPoint likes to misunderstand rectangles a little bit. In this case, so sometimes you could see 
that maybe this rectangle morphs into this rectangle. And this is not what you want. So what you can do is you can include a letter in this rectangle. So maybe type an A, select it, and then go to text options and add full transparency. So nobody will ever see that there's an A, but with the A here, and also adding the A here on the next slide, PowerPoint will recognize this as the only rectangle that has a A. And in this case, it will not misunderstand which one to animate where, and it will stay right. Okay, so next up, we want to add our watches. So for that, I'm gonna duplicate the slide again, and then just have these again drop out like they did before. So I'm just gonna select it from the old slide and, oops, no, actually I'm just gonna add a new slide, sorry. Boom, and then just add the animations here again. And you also want to have Hans, Hans with the nice mustache. Okay, and then also have the morph transition applied, and then you can see it's moving out very nicely. Okay, for the watches, I have prepared already three different watches. I actually don't know the names. So these are the three watches, they are all PNG images. The great thing is if you go to the Rolex page, you can directly download these watches as PNGs. If they are not as PNGs, you can also go to the remove background. So I actually did that here. I did a screenshot on a solid background, as you can see, and then I just go to remove background and then I can select the areas I want to keep and it will help me with that. This one doesn't look nice now, but if you give it some time, it will look like this here. So we have three different watches and we now also need descriptive text. Um, fortunately, I also prepared this, of course, so we don't take ages on this tutorial here and you can just skip through it. So I have prepared this. The way it works, I will now explain it on one example. So first we will use this font and then we will have the smaller font down here in the green and this one is in the black. So you can just select this and say text options and make this green and here you make it black and also change the font to 28 and below here to 18. And for these lines that you can see here, simply go to the lines and then drag one, put it down here, make it a little bit thicker so like three or five, and then change the outline color to the green. That's basically it. Okay, so what we want to do here is we will have these three elements for each watch. And in order for them to come in very nicely, you're gonna copy that again. You know the plug, it, it's very simple. Drag them down, deselect one, drag them down, deselect one, drag them down. Morph is applied, so what does it look like? Very nice animation. Go through it again. Extremely nice animation. The only thing we're missing now is a nice gradient fill in the background to add a little bit more interesting pattern. So we're just gonna do this and then have the gradient stops here. So I'm gonna move myself to the left really quick. And then we have white to maybe like light gray, something like this would look nice, I think. Now, the next part is more interesting even. So now we want to add the watches getting bigger and smaller and also changing their uh, opacity. So we're gonna duplicate and we first want to highlight the C dweller in the middle. So. We're just gonna grab these two watches here and make them smaller and drag them down and then go to picture format or here picture format and then you can toggle picture transparency and you want to have 50. 
boom, now they're a little bit translucent. And in these text boxes, you can just make the text smaller. And then you can drag, oops, you can drag these two down. Very simple stuff. And to make it more extreme, we can also make this one bigger and also it's text bigger. Just make sure it looks nice. And then we add the morph transition. Oops. And as you can see, it, it, it looks absolutely stunning. Sometimes you can have the problem that it won't take the text. For example, if I will now group these two here with option command G, you will see that we will have a problem when doing the animation. You can see how it's not really nice, not really want to what we want to see. It kind of looks weird. Okay, this is where you're gonna enable words. And it helps that a little bit, but the best thing is to keep everything ungrouped, then it will work every time. So also here, um, we will ungroup this. So these are quick toggles. You can enable them in the settings. Otherwise you can just, you can just do it somewhere else. All right. And you're just gonna rinse and repeat this now for the other watches going through the whole collection. And that's basically it. You have more details. So pictures coming in from the left and the right. And it also works the exact same way that we did on these other examples. You just have to take my pictures and apply your own ideas to it. And that's basically it. It's extremely simple. Um, and it doesn't take that much of an effort to create a stunning presentation like this. Thank you for watching this video. It has been my pleasure and I see you guys in the next one. By the way, how do you like the new camera, the new setup? I think it looks quite sick trying to up the quality on every upload. And um, yeah, hope you guys have a great time and see you guys in the next one.